Do you want to start selling products online that have your own design on it, but without you having to pack those items, send them to your customers yourself, or even produce them? Well, in this case, dropshipping is the best option for you. And in this video, I will not only share dropshipping ideas, but I will share how to do this with no money and for absolute beginners. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business growth and how to make more money online. If these subjects interest you, make sure to subscribe down below. In this video, I will explain exactly how to start a successful dropshipping business with no money for beginners. And the best option to start a dropshipping business with no money is by using Etsy. It is completely free if you get the 40 free listings in the link below in the description. And so you won't have to pay any fees unless you make a sale and you won't have to pay any listings fees using that link. So it is completely free to start, you don't need a website, you don't need a domain, you just need to start an Etsy shop. Now how do you actually start a dropshipping business that is successful? Step number one, market research. You need to go to Etsy and start searching for products that can be dropshipped. For that, you will need a dropshipping platform first, so choose one that has your desired product and then go to Etsy and type in what you think people will want to buy. For example, for this video, I'm going to use the example of baby milestone blankets. So there are these blankets that has the months and the mother usually takes photos of the kid on the blanket and circles out the month that they're in. So they have one month, two months, three years. So I typed in the search results and you can also see once you enter it how many search results they got the little the search results the little the competition and it is a keyword that you can think of that you can compete with i also recommend using sales samurai to find the best keywords for your product and to find the best product to sell on etsy that don't have a big competition and that you can sell on etsy you can get a three-day free trial with the link in the description for sales samurai so go check that out so for example you go in sales samurai and you search for kid milestone blanket or baby milestone blanket and there you will see a bunch of other keywords that you can use for your product listings and you will also see a bunch of other products their sales their competition their keywords and much more next you will need to choose your drop shipping platform that works with etsy integrated for example printify choose your desired item and then proceed to think of your design step number three create a free design in canva with the free elements that they offer you can try out canva for free free in the link below. When you go to Printify, they usually recommend a resolution that your design should be in, so your design will be the best quality at the optimal resolution when they print it out on your product and send it to the customer. Next, you can start adding your graphics, other elements. So for this blanket, I will show you how I added a few elements such as an elephant, because when you search for products in Etsy, you can also niche down a little bit, for example, kids milestone blankets with elephants, so when people search for that you can show up so you can also niche down in that way so you can add the text other elements the months years and all that step number four is to download your design from canva and go to printify and upload it so you will see your design and how it will look on the finished product you will also be able to use those photos as your listing photos on Etsy. Step number five is to connect Printify or your dropshipping platform with Etsy. This will automatically transfer your product to Etsy and it will be listed there in your shop. From now on, all your sales will be automatic. So when you will make a sale, Printify will take care of shipping that product to the customer, of providing a shipping date and everything else. So what you will do is you will add a price that is higher than the production price and what is left from the production price to your selling price will be your profit, so your commission from that sale. Step number six is to go optimize your listing for SEO. Research keywords that are highly searched for in Sales Samurai and add them to your product's title, description and tags. You can also use websites such as placeit.net for creating more mockups of your products. That can be for t-shirts, cups and everything else. You can add those as more listing products or even create a listing video with a mockup video. And then step number seven is to optimize your Etsy shop and then promote your product on social media or in Etsy teams in order to make more sales and grow your business. It is really important that you remember to keep your shop in one niche. For example, if you're selling milestone blankets for kids, keep your shop in that niche or in the kids products niche so you can have more sales from your visitors. And don't try to create all types of products. Also, create an entire brand around your products 
create a logo, a cover image for Etsy, your social media accounts, and optimize your shop with your shipping policies, frequently asked questions, and more. So there you go, this is how you can start a free dropshipping business with no money for beginners using Etsy and your dropshipping platform. If you've enjoyed this video and it helped you out, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe down below for more such videos every single week. You can also leave me a comment down below and let me know if this option worked for you or not. You can also follow me on Instagram at Lidera Incoming Success for more content on growing online with social media and making more money. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.